Live from the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 News at 5 on your side. What is now in this package and, and uh, oh my goodness, is my family safe? Only on ABC 7 News, a detailed look at just what was in the packages a suspected college gunman sent to friends around the country before carrying out his plot. <laughs> ABC 7 was the first to tell you about those packages that Myron May sent to a handful of his close friends, including one in the Washington area. And while the FBI has intercepted the packages, we've learned what was inside one of them, and it sheds a lot of light on May's mental state. Josie Sturman is in our newsroom with the details you'll see only on 7. Josie. Allison, those friends say Myron May was an accomplished man, a down to earth man and an attorney hoping to open his own firm in Florida. Now they know he was deeply troubled and they're looking at red flags they wish they had seen long before those packages were ever sent. Did you think he was capable of this? Absolutely not. Chris Ray, a small town North Carolina mayor, never saw it coming, never believed his friend would be the man police named as the gunman in a shooting at Florida State. You're going numb at the same time because it's just like, am I reading this correctly? This was just someone I was just speaking with a few days ago. The last time Ray spoke with Myron May, it was on Facebook when May asked a group of friends for their addresses and let them know they'd be getting packages. Although chosen, Ray and Joe Paul, who lives in Alexandria, would never read May's last words. Their packages were intercepted by the Postal Service. What we hope is in the package is why he chose to do this. And now we know. Ray says he was contacted by the postmaster last night asking for his permission to look inside. He said it was, you know, documents that were um, stating, you know, why he did it and like a manifesto uh, and his belief that the government is targeting individuals. Ray says he didn't feel targeted, although he did fear for his family. He says he knew from a recent call that May was struggling, but didn't know how badly until after the shooting. You could really see the cry for help on his Facebook page with some of his messages about being broken inside. Now Ray wants to shine a light on mental illness, something he says Myron May was dealing with. It doesn't matter you know, how accomplished you are, how many degrees you have, um, it, it's, it's serious. Mayor Ray says the only other red flag he saw was a link Myron May sent him recently. It was a YouTube clip that showed former Governor Jesse Ventura from Minnesota interviewing a former CIA operative that created a system to read people's minds. Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News. All right, Josie.